Hey everyone, Jim with the Flying Midwest Podcast again, bringing you another edition of This Week in Aviation History. This segment will cover the week of April 30th through May 6th. Starting off, May 1st, 1965. A YF-12A departed from Edwards Air Force Base in California. The YF-12 was a prototype of what would later be the SR-71. During that flight on May 1st, 1965, that aircraft broke five speed records. At one point, traveling at the speed of over 2,070 miles per hour. They would also set a world record altitude of 80,259 feet. Also on May 1st of 1960, Gary Powers was piloting a U-2 spy plane for the CIA. While flying at 80,000 feet, that aircraft was shot down by a Russian surface-to-air missile. Powers would be captured and interrogated for 62 days by the KGB. Ultimately, he was sentenced to three years in prison and seven years of hard labor. After two years, the Soviet Union and the United States agreed to an exchange for powers. Moving on to May 2nd of 1977. First Lieutenant Christine Schaaf was the first female to solo in a T-38. She would go on to be the first woman to command and be qualified in a C-9A medical transport. And now some 747 history. Between May 1st and May 3rd of 1976, a Pan Am 747, nicknamed the Clipper Liberty Bell, completed a world round trip. In that record setting flight, the aircraft had a total flight duration of 46 hours and one second, traveling around the world for a total mileage of 23,137 miles, with an average speed of 502 miles per hour. On May 3rd of 1952, a United States Air Force C-47 cargo plane, piloted by Lieutenant Colonels William Benedict and Joseph Fletcher, was the first aircraft to land at the North Pole. That aircraft's mission was to carry a team of researchers to the North Pole. That aircraft would ultimately crash in that region and sink to the bottom of the ocean many years later. May 5th, 1961. We'll add a little bit of space travel in this portion. U.S. Navy Commander Alan Shepard was launched into space in Freedom 7. This would be the first time an American would be carried into space aboard a rocket. The flight came 23 days after the Soviets had accomplished the same. The total duration of the flight was 15 minutes and 28 seconds. And finally, May 6, 1937. The Hindenburg had completed a three-day transatlantic flight from Germany, arriving in Lakehurst, New Jersey. On its trip, it carried 36 passengers and 61 crew. While in the process of being moored, the Hindenburg caught fire. Eventually, the hydrogen buoyancy tanks would catch fire and explode. The Hindenburg crashed to the ground and was destroyed in 30 seconds. 13 passengers and 22 crew and one ground crew member perished in this incident. So that'll do it for this week in aviation history. If you're enjoying this content, we've got two more weeks of free previews of this week in aviation history. After that, it'll be exclusive content on our Patreon page. You can check that out at patreon.com forward slash Fly Midwest Podcast. Until next time, see ya!